Brothers and sisters, I want to speak to you about an open vision that I had, a vision from the Lord. It was a message. And I had this vision. It was an open vision yesterday. I was sitting and I was reading my Bible when I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit around me. And when I looked out, I could see the earth speeding through space towards what looked like an ocean of crystal clear water suspended in space. It was crystal clear water suspended in space. And the earth was just speeding directly towards it. When I got towards the end of the vision, the earth was partially submerged in the water and then the vision just faded. I prayed on the vision. I thought on the vision because I know that it was a message from God. It was a message for the believers. It was a message for the house of Israel. And when I thought on it, I slept on it, I prayed on it, and I listened for the Spirit to speak to me. The water is the Holy Spirit, the Word of God. That's the water, okay? It's spoken of in the Bible multiple times. When you read in the book of John, chapter 7, verses 37 through 39, it states, Now on the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture said, from his innermost being will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke of the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive. For the Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. It is also spoken about in the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 3. For I will pour out water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. I will pour out my spirit on your offspring and my blessing on your descendants. It is also spoken about in the book of John, verse 14. But whosoever drinks of the water that I will give him shall never thirst. But the water that I will give him will become in him a well of water springing up to eternal life. Again, in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13. For by one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free we were all made to drink of one spirit. I kept thinking about the water. The water was crystal clear. It was so clean and clear. It was see-through in space. You could see the earth just plummeting. It was speeding towards the water. And the water covered the space in front of the earth, there was no space the water didn't cover. But it was clear as crystal. It was clear and clean as crystal. And I remember thinking when I looked at the earth hurtling towards it, that it was going to be submerged in it. It was going to be completely submerged in the water. And right before the vision ended, I could see the earth going into the water, but it wasn't totally covered. But I knew only because the vision dissipated. It, it, it just faded back to where I was back in the living room. I could see the living room around me. Um, I knew that it was going to be covered in this water. I knew it. It was, it was in the process. It was being submerged. Um, 
And I kept talking to God. You're trying to tell me, show me, show me. So I prayed. I slept on it. I prayed some more. And I let my spirit marinate on the Lord and his word. And I kept praying for God to reveal it to me, to make it plain. And the spirit brought it. It told me what it was. Brothers and sisters, in the book of Romans, and I want to go to it, in the book of Romans, chapter 11, well, first we're going to go to the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 14, the gospel has to be preached throughout the whole world, the gospel has to be preached throughout the whole world. Book of Matthew, chapter four. <coughs> excuse me, chapter fourteen. I'm excuse me, chapter twenty-four. Book of Matthew, chapter twenty-four, verse fourteen. Book of Matthew, chapter twenty-four, verse fourteen. And this gospel of the kingdom must be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. The gospel, which is the word of God. And in that word, the word contains water. And the water is the spirit of the most high God. Now we're going to go to the book of Romans. Okay. I'm going to go to chapter 11. The book of Romans. Book of Romans, chapter 11. Let me get it. Where is, is it Romans? Let me get it right. Let me get it right. I don't want to get it wrong. Where it says the fullness of the Gentiles. Where the fullness of the Gentiles. I want to read it exact to you. Where the fullness of the Gentiles shall come in, then shall the end come. When the fullness of the Gentiles shall come in. Wait a minute, I'm trying to get it exact. The fullness of the, of the Gentiles. Which basically means, brothers and sisters, when the fullness of the Gentiles comes in, then is the time of Jacob, the end shall come, the end of this age, and how will the fullness of the Gentiles come in? The fullness of the Gentiles will come in, I'm trying to get the exact verse, it's Romans eleven twelve. all right, eleven twenty five. I don't know why I keep calling it. Wrong. Eleven twenty-five. No, no. The fullness of the Gentiles. Gotta get that exact verse. I don't like saying it, and I have the reverse incorrect. When the fullness of the Gentiles comes in, then the end shall come. When the fullness of the Gentiles shall come in, then shall the end come. For some reason, it's 25 to 29. Okay. Lest ye be, and I'm in the middle of, I was right, Romans eleven twenty five. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceit. That blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. Okay. When the fullness of the Gentiles comes in, that's when the gospel has been preached throughout the whole world. And the end shall come. And Yeshua shall return. 
some of the Hebrews are still in the process of waking up. Blindness in part. They haven't fully waken up. But the vision was telling me that it is coming speedily. I saw the earth speeding through space toward that crystal clear water. That same crystal clear water flows from the throne of God. It's in the book of Revelations. And it is the Holy Spirit. It is the Spirit of God. The Word of God. Jesus' word, the word that Jesus preached because his word came from God. The Spirit of the Most High is in that word. And it's in the water. And what the vision was showing was that the earth and the word of God being preached throughout all the nations, that time is very close. It's speeding to an end. And the end creates the beginning. That's why the awakening is going on. Because as the fullness of the Gentiles comes in, Israel wakes up. Israel wakes up. The awakening has already begun. But the vision was so powerful. It was so profound until I could feel the spirit of the Lord around me. That spirit is so powerful. It can make you it cover up. It, 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 it's like a sh the sun beaming in your eyes, except you can feel it in the spirit. That power of the spirit where it makes you cover up. But after I felt that feeling and I opened my eyes and I was looking around in the living room, the open vision came. And the earth was just speeding with, it, 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 it was moving at such a fast rate through space. I could see the earth just speeding, plummeting towards the water. And I saw the water, beautiful, clean, see-through water. And the earth just going into it. And I remember I kept thinking, it's going to be submerged. It's going to cover it. It can't remain the same. It can't. It's going to be cleansed. The other thing was I knew a cleansing was coming. A cleansing was coming. A massive change. And it's a spiritual change. It's a true change, brothers and sisters. I know this, this message is coming out kind of choppy because I'm, I'm getting it as the Spirit gives it to me and I want to give it to you. But, brothers and sisters, get your house in order. No man knows the day. No man knows the hour. But the time is so close. Even after the vision went away, I kept feeling the, the nearness of it. I kept, it was so powerful. I started praying. I can feel the spirit now near me. I can feel it. I can feel it. The hour is so close. It's so close, brothers and sisters. Get your house in order. Get your hearts in order with the Lord. And I just wanted to share this vision. It was like seeing in outer space and the earth just hurtling, hurtling towards this crystal clear water suspended in outer space, just covering from one end to the other, this beautiful, clean, clear water. And knowing I feel the spirit so strong right now, even talking about it, I can feel it. I can feel the spirit. And it was an open vision. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is coming back. The Lord is coming back for us. He's coming back. The time of the Gentiles and their, their coming in, their fullness is so close that, yes, I know no man knows the day, no man knows the hour, but the Lord is speaking. He is showing the visions. It's so strong that I know we are so close. Pray, brothers and sisters, get your hearts together. I just want to share this. There, there's no words for the intensity of it. 
and how close it is, how close it is. Israel is waking up because the time of the Gentiles, their fullness is coming in. This word going out throughout the whole earth, throughout the whole world. The earth is about to be complete with the word of God. That's why it was being submerged in that water. That's why. But I didn't see it fully covered. I saw it going into a point and then the vision went away. But I know that that message is from God to let us know our salvation is near, brothers and sisters. It's near. That's why so many more people keep waking up. That's why. Because the time of the Gentiles is coming to an end. The fullness, those that God is going to accept in, that fullness is coming. When that word of God, that gospel is preached throughout the whole earth, then the end will come. That's why the earth was plummeting into that crystal water. Because that water is the word of God. It's the Holy Spirit. At the same time, the cleansing is coming. This this world, this age is coming to an end. And I knew, I'm like, that. if the earth goes into that water, it can't be the same. When I was trying to interpret it, when I was asking God to show me, I was thinking, it has to change. And this water was not like other water. It was clean and clear you could see through it it was it was it was the spirit of God it was the water of God I just want to share this vision peace and blessings Shalom brothers and sisters Shalom I don't have words for this except to say I know this comes from the most high to let us know he's near he did not forget his firstborn. You be blessed. You be encouraged. Shalom.